reasonably good effort to return the punt. However, the kick is short or high or no return opportunity develops. This is discouraging and on successive punts their effort dwindles and they never get in position to execute a successful return. Finally, they don't even make a good effort to try in a coordinated team play in a punt return. Belief is key. You must believe if our opponent punts the ball to us five times, we can return one for a touchdown. However, you never know which one it will be. If our head is in the game and our effort is there on each punt, we'll make a big play on a punt return. A big punt return can turn a momentum in a game. Let's examine the punt return game starting off with a middle return. We're going to look at middle return from two aspects. To me, there are two aspects to almost every punt return alignment. The aspect as to whether or not you are going to double any opponent that is split out or whether or not you are going to single him. We at Kentucky believe that to have successful returns, we will do anything we can possibly do to buy grass in front of the returner. In other words, we will determine whether we're going to single or double a wide receiver based on the quality of his play, the, his speed, and the ab ability of the punter to hang the ball in the air. We will sacrifice a double team virtually on any wideout that we believe can get to the football before our returner can catch it. So in other words, when we're talking about middle returns, we're talking about buying 15 yards of grass in front of our returner. And if we think we can do it with single bump and runs on the outside, we will align like this. That can't be.